This is for all of my ambitious dreamers out there. You have destiny locked inside of you and I want to break it open today. Let's talk about it. Do you want to start a YouTube channel but you feel too afraid to put yourself out there? I want to talk about five obstacles that can get in the way of you accomplishing your dreams. And today we're going to hurdle these obstacles. Let me introduce myself. My name is Isabel. I'm your encourager helping you grow in confidence by hearing God's voice and enabling you to walk out your dreams. This channel is all things successful living tips and faith-filled living tips. And if either of those things interest you, then hit the subscribe button. I upload every Friday at 12 p.m. to encourage you. Don't miss a single video. Okay, let's get started. Finances. So I have a story to tell you. This story um, is in my finances book by Dave Ramsey and I thought it was incredible. Let me read it to you. Okay. Colonel Harlan Sanders was born in Indiana and lived there until he was about 12. His father died when he was six, and with his mother entering the workforce, he was pretty much in charge of his younger siblings, and he, by age seven, could cook them several different dishes. Over the next 25 years, Sanders opened a service station, and he began to cook for hungry travelers, and business was booming, but he did not anticipate that the interstate highway was built to bypass a Kentucky town that housed his business and he found himself deeply in debt and dried up in the restaurant business. He was living off of social security checks, but he believed in the success of his recipe. Traveling by, car, traveling by car, he visited restaurants and cooked chicken for the owners and employees. If enough interest was generated, Saunders and the restaurant owner agreed to a handshake that the restaurant would pay Sanders a nickel per chicken sold. 12 years later, he had more than 600 franchises and sold his interest to a group of private investors for $2 million. Sanders remained the spokesperson for his company until his death in 1980. Although he experienced many setbacks during his prime years, Harlan Sanders did what it took to get out of debt and started a company at age 65 with 105 social security checks. Today, most of us still refer to that company as Kentucky Fried Chicken. What do you think about that? That at age 65, he got out of debt and started his company. So Colonel Sanders, one, he didn't have a whole lot of finances to begin with. Um, he had $105 um, dollars coming in. And then he was already in debt, but he believed in his secret sauce and he kept trying. You need resilience so that you do not give up on your dream. And even though you see obstacles around you and circumstances around you, that you don't quit and you go for it anyways. If you are finding financial struggle, then level up, figure out how to get yourself out of debt read literature, maybe take a class, go on YouTube, find out different ways people, how, how they get out of debt or how they increase their income, get side income. There are so many ways that you can increase your income and that you can go further than what you see today. It is possible. Have you also heard the quote that God does not call the qualified, he qualifies the called. The, th the same thing applies with finances is that He'll give you the dream. He'll also supply the seed to you. I've heard that so many times and it's so true. Trust God with your finances. Trust him with your dream and just get started. Just get started. Just get started and see how God will provide to fund the dream that he gave you. The insecurity, this is my soapbox, so I'll be very fast. But I am so shocked, but then I'm not shocked because I have struggled and work through this and sometimes work through this still of feeling like you don't have anything to give and part of it is from comparison you look at people that are going so far further ahead of you and different things like that but I just want to say to you that you have so much to give there is space for you exactly in your situation with your character your personality your circumstances your background God chose to give the dream to you he chose to give it to you. He didn't choose to give it to anybody else. He wanted you to carry out. So think about Moses, right? So Moses 
He told God, uh, I'm not eloquent of speech. You want me to go and speak to a king? Did you pick the right person? And God said, who made man's mouth? He knew that he made Moses that way. And he decided to choose Moses to be the person to orchestrate freedom for his people. God chose to give that dream to you. There is worth created inside of you already. You're valuable. You don't have to look like everybody else. You're supposed to look like you. You are special and unique and God formed you and knit you carefully and articulately. And no matter what your life looked like then or now, it is all for a purpose. The message that you wanna bring out here on YouTube or if you wanna be a model, whatever the dream is, your voice matters, your story matters, and it will encourage somebody today. If you get over the fear, and if you get over the fear of exposing yourself, people will thank you for being yourself because God created you to play a part in this thing we call life. So I hope that encouraged you. I'm gonna move on to the next one. I was literally thinking about this today. Number three, feeling underqualified. It is true that we can always prepare and plan, but at the same time, there comes a point where you just need to step out of the boat and start walking on the water of faith. And at the same time, you know, if you are following successful habit tips, then you're constantly learning, you're constantly growing, you're constantly working on yourself. So a, a way that I do this easily is um, in my morning routine, I will incorporate reading um, an audiobook or listening to an audiobook for 30 minutes a day or reading a book 30 minutes before bed, or listening to podcasts while I'm driving to work. That's a really easy way to increase your learning and grow in preparation for where you want to go. But I want you to think about how you've already been researching, you've already been looking into all the other people that are having success in this area, you have been growing, you have been learning, so you do know things already that can benefit your audience. You already know so much more than you think you do. I want you to say this with me. I do know things. I do know things. I think a lot of times we tell ourselves a lie that I don't know anything, and that actually disqualifies us so much. I notice that when I tell myself, I can do hard things, I can learn things, even though I'm uncomfortable, I'm stretched and I'm learning, therefore it will not be perfect right away. And that's not the goal. When you are starting out, it's the goal is not perfection, but learning and growing and continuing to perfect the crap. It starts at a learning curve and that's okay. It's okay to learn and grow and make mistakes at the beginning. You have to do that to prepare you for the bigger audience that you want later on. You gotta go through that legwork in the beginning and it's good, it's, it's really good. So I wanna encourage you to reflect that you have learned things, you have prepared, you have grown, and you do have things to offer your audience. There are things that you know specifically that you've learned and grown in. Maybe it's beauty or the fashion industry and this is going to help you to also find your niche and what you're passionate about. Maybe you've learned special techniques about how to hear the voice of God or how to read your Bible or how to excel in studying classes. Your experiences have literally helped you and prepared you to speak to your audience and help someone else along the way. So do not disqualify yourself. You be your biggest cheerleader and say, yes, I do know things. Yes, I do have something to say. Yes, I can do this. Number four obstacle is fear. I get it, but I wanna tell you, do it afraid. If you are afraid of starting your YouTube channel and starting something new and putting yourself out there, do it anyways. Why? Because it's your dream. You want it, so go after it and don't let fear stop you. You can have fear, but you can also command it to go away in the name of Jesus. Joyce Meyer says this. She says, do it afraid. Um, another person said it really well in the Bible. Paul says, I came to you in fear and trembling. When I read that, I was shocked. I thought Paul was like the most bold and fearless guy ever, but he actually had fear and he overcame it and he did it anyways. He still put action to his faith anyways, even though he was afraid or felt inadequate 
or anxious, whatever it might have been. And he did it anyways. He overcame that through his action. So I want to encourage you that the people that you see that are public speakers or on television or radio hosts or whatever it is, they do face fear, but they choose to put one foot before the other anyways. So you do the same. Don't let fear get in the way and paralyze you. And if you have fear, meditate on scripture. The Bible says, be bold and very courageous. He's commanded us to be strong and courageous. So cast that fear out. Say scripture over yourself. Hype yourself up, whatever you got to do to overcome that fear. But that fear is under you. It doesn't rule you. It doesn't have to control your life. You have a choice. The last category, number five, is time. And so we've talked about one, there's two categories to time. So time of like, I feel like I don't have any time. And two, of I feel like too much time has passed that I cannot accomplish this dream. So I know myself that I wanted to have a YouTube channel since I was in eighth grade. And we can talk about more why I didn't start. It was fear was step number four. But I wish so badly that I would have started then because even at the beginning, I thought, even when I was in eighth grade, I thought, oh, I should start on my YouTube channel years ago because I looked at other channels like Close Encounters and I thought, oh, there's so much more. That comparison, it'll get you. I, I felt like they were so much more professional than I was. They were more qualified than I was. That comparison can paralyze you. Do not focus on other people's journey because it's not your own. Their channel is not yours. You got to have tunnel vision on you and your goal, your audience, your niche, because there is space for you. If I would have let that time factor and feel like I had, I was already too old or the boat had already passed me, then I would have let so much time pass by, which I did. I am now 25 and I was in eighth grade at the time. I don't know how old I was then, maybe like 14. So 14, 20, but literally 10 years have passed. When if I would have started that dream, when I first had the dream of eighth grade, we would have been popping by now. But I had to learn what I learned in order to be here today, to grow in confidence, to grow in security in Jesus and not in people, to be able to step out in the water finally. And thank God that he's patient with us. It is literally never too late. If you have breath in your lungs, the boat has not passed you. He's with you. He's for you and he's for the dreams that he's put inside you. Pray up. Get clear on what the vision is. I have other videos about how to be clear on what God's vision is for you. And get started. Don't let any more time pass by. Another 10 years could pass by and you say, Oh, if I would have started 10 years ago, then I would have been popping by now. Yes, it's still true. There is no better time like the present. Just get to get started you never know you never know how far you can go if you don't try but if you don't try then you do miss the boat if you don't try then you do miss it let that not be your story i don't want that for you i want you to join me on this journey of living on the other side of security stepping out of the boat and living the faith life of adventure of going after your dreams with jesus i'm telling you it feels so much more free on this side. Are you joining me? Comment down below if you're stepping out the boat. Tell me, I'm stepping out the boat. Don't let fear be the one that writes your story today. You let God write your story. Let him. See where he will take you. Take a step of faith today. Second part of the time factor is having enough time to do this. Listen. I want to tell you about how to overcome the time factor and how to have a YouTube channel for busy people. That will be next week's video part two. If you need help in this area, hit the subscribe button and do not miss this video. I cannot wait to share all the tips. I want to over deliver in this video and give you all the programs, all of the schedules and routines and things that have helped me stay on track of never missing a Friday to upload since I started. So even though your schedule looks crazy, 
God is able to give you wisdom on how to time manage and make the most of your day because the days are evil. He can help you do that. And I want to help you by giving you the tips that he gave me. So subscribe. I'll see you next week. I hope this video encouraged you. If it did, comment down below, share with three friends, and listen to God's voice today. Let him change your life. And I'll see you in the next video.